Romero, I'm leaving. Why you want to leave me? Because I am sick and tired of arguing and fighting with you. It's stressing me out. We're arguing because you got me constantly worried about who you're talking to. You know who I talk to every day. I talk to the same people. But they're guys, Val. They are friends. My friends. That's not cool. You disrespected me every single time. How are you, how are you feeling disrespected when no one is disrespecting you? You keep talking to them. And why are we arguing about them? You see what I'm saying? I don't want to argue about them. You want to argue about them. Don't you comprehend? You just don't get it. I don't care that they're your friends. I don't want you talking to them. It's simple as that. I have known them since elementary school. They know my whole family. They know everything about me. And you want me to stop talking to them just to make you happy? Yes. See? <laughs> this is exactly why I can't do this. I had let you know about them since we first met, so we wouldn't have an issue. And look, here we are. I don't understand why it's so hard for you to stop talking to them. Wait a minute. You sleeping with one of them? Are you serious right now? I'm so serious right now. You literally do this every day. <laughs> like, this is insane. Are you calling me insane? I said, this is insane. See? Look at you. You always creating problems when there aren't none. You a hypocrite. What was I thinking? What have I gotten myself into? You are such a manipulator. God, I hope our child does not end up like you. What you trying to say, Val? I, I said, I hope our daughter doesn't have traits like you. You're so disrespectful. You know what? If you want to leave, then leave. Why are you in my house? Why are you in my face? Oh, so this is your house now? Yeah, this is my house. You don't do anything. That's because you begged me to be a stay-at-home wife and have your child and be a stay-at-home mom, and now you throwing it all in my face? Whatever, Val. You could be doing way more than what you've been doing. You are a horrible person. I wish I never met you. Oh, yeah? Keep talking. Keep talking while you're walking out of my house. Fine. Fine and I'm taking Shelly. Stop playing with me, Val. You're not even stable enough to take care of our child. You ain't taking her nowhere. Watch me. Stop playing with me, Val. You crazy or something? I told you, you're not taking my daughter nowhere. taking me for a joke, so I had to show you. I'm going to court. <laughs> Go right ahead, Val. I promise you. I promise you it won't work in your favor. I don't care. I'll do anything for our daughter's sake. You are a crazy and dangerous individual. She doesn't need to be around anyone like you. Yeah. All right, Val. You already know I would never put my hands on my daughter. But you, nah, you different. Every time I look at you, you just make a man want to jump you on. What? Okay, I did speak with the judge, and I do have some news for you today. Hey, hey, hey. No, no running, sweetheart. <laughs> she can be so silly, you know? I want to see my mommy. See? See what he does? He does anything to try to hurt me. This is so messed up. Oh, come on. I was just trying to get her to stop running. Jeez. You just make an issue out of every situation. <gasps> I have had it with you. You disgust me. Mommy, Daddy, please stop. Come over here, baby. Come you have see? a seat. You see what you did? You made her cry. I'm sorry, baby. All right, all right. Both of you have a seat. You two are out of order. Sit down now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. OK. Now, can we please do what we came here to do? OK. Miss Valentina, unfortunately, the judge did not rule in your favor. But wait. 
Why? Look, I'm sorry, Miss Valentina, but you're not working. You don't have a stable place to live. If you're gonna fight for custody for your child, you have to have everything together for the court to consider you a fit parent to care for your child. No, no, no! You don't understand. This man is deranged, he is crazy, and abusive. But the court seems to think otherwise. This man tried to choke me while my daughter was in the house. And y'all let this man go to my baby? Look, Miss Valentina, once you have a stable place to live and a job, I'll be more than happy to help you fight to get your daughter back. Okay. I'm gonna fight. Baby, mommy loves you. I'll see you soon. I love you. Can I come with you? No, baby. I'm sorry. Why? I want to come with you. Mommy has to go. I'm sorry. Mom, please don't leave. Mom. It's okay. Mom. Hey, are you busy? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, never mind then. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. I, I, I just talked to you later. All right. Bye. Hey, sis. Hey, how's it going? Are you busy? I know, I'm sorry, but I'm really struggling with my daughter right now. I know, and I'm sorry. I'm really struggling with my daughter right now. And I haven't been at work for a whole week. And they said if I don't come in today, I'm gonna lose my job. Veronica, please. Veronica. Veronica, hello? Life is over, Shelly. I love you, baby girl. Everything, all of this. I did this for you. And the devil's trying to take it away. But the devil can't take it away. Nothing that he can't take away. Daddy, you're scaring me. Oh, look, sweetheart. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Daddy's going through a lot, trying to get back on his feet. Sweetheart, I'm trying to give you everything that you can dream of, but I just can't do it anymore. It's okay, Dad. Things are going to get better. No, sweetheart. I don't think it will. I just don't want to take the chance to see my daughter suffer. Why can't I just go with mom? No, sweetheart, you can't. Your mother can't take care of you. Sweetheart, you thirsty? No, sir. No. It's, you have to drink this, sweetheart. I don't, I don't want to. No, look, 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 look. See? Daddy gonna drink it. See? You can drink it too. 
Please, Dad, I don't want to. <laughs> Drink, sweetheart. We don't have that much time. Come on, sweetheart. Don't look, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Mommy, what's wrong with Daddy? Is he gonna die? It's okay, baby. Don't look. He tried to give me something to drink, and then he drank it, and then he fell on the couch. It's okay, honey. Yes, please. I need 911 ambulance to 732 Desert Road. Okay, thank you. Everything's gonna be okay, okay? Come on. The moral of the story is, just because you hit rock bottom, that doesn't mean that is the outcome of your life. As a parent, no matter what you're going through, if you know your child is in danger, then get yourself together and fight for your child. No matter how long it takes, it is never too late to save your children.